never noticed the excessive use of plastic spoons? Well, we have a solution for it. We are from Sekolah Hamdangan Sains Tri Intan. And we bring you rice! I'm Amar and I act as the group leader. I'm Sanya and I work as the quality checker. You can call me Rauda, I'm the group improviser. I'm Damia and I am the group editor. Rice is something we created from a combination of rice flour and tapioca starch with seeds embedded in the shaft of the spoon. Rice doesn't contain any harmful chemicals which makes it safe to consume. On top of that, despite being made from flour, rice would not get soggy in a short amount of time. Please do not be concerned if the spoon will end up being flimsy as of the cost, the spoon is very sturdy as proven. Here, I will prove that our rice spoon is sturdy. Many are wondering, what is the objective of rice? Well, rice was created with the intent to encourage the use of organic materials as a substitute for plastic spoons. We have high hopes that this would help to reduce the plastic spoon waste. In addition, this spoon is embedded with seeds, which can be planted later on after usage. Moreover, this would help to increase the number of plants in one's area. Last but not least, this spoon shall act as a natural fertilizer and can be planted directly in the soil without the concern of it not decomposing. A problem we wish to subdue is the use of plastic spoons when buying takeout ice cream. This is due to the harm plastic has done towards the environment. Some may say, don't we have bamboo spoons for that? To that I'd say, Bamboo spoons isn't the best solution. Bamboo spoons often comes with splinters, which may injure one's fingers or tongue. On top of that, bamboo spoons may leave a hint of wooden taste when eating ice cream, which isn't a pleasant experience. On the other hand, our rice spoon will not leave a single hint of taste. In this segment of the video, we should dive deep into how we created our spoons. Firstly, we gathered together and had a group discussion to discuss on how to create the spoons. Here, one of our members, Rauda, played a big role in the creation of the spoon. She suggested we should use flour, which to that, all of us agrees. We continued with starting the experiment. There were many methods we tried and experienced many trials and error. So, what's the method we use? Well, you'll see for yourself. After many attempts, we finally found something that worked. We start off by adding 70% tapioca starch and 30% rice flour into a beaker. Then, we pour in just enough water with a 1 over 2 ratio from the dry ingredients and mix well. After mixing it together, we heat it just enough until the solution thickens. Later, we pour the solution into a silicone mold we prepared earlier and move it into the oven. The oven is set to 150 degrees Celsius and bake it for around 1 hour. Once baked and cooled, we take it out from the silicone and get it ready to add the seeds. Here, we will insert the seeds into the shaft of the spoon. And that's how you make rice.
Our market potential for the rice spoon is to reach ice cream food vendors and our food stores that serve ice cream. The rice spoon is also suitable for those who practice zero waste. Based on all the tests of meat, flour is suitable to be used as the ingredient. As flour is cheap and has an abundance of stock, which makes it readily available in any grocery stores. Along with the decreasing number of plants, the rice spoon can help counter that problem. The seeds can be easily swapped according to one's region, making sure that the soon-to-be-grown plant isn't invasive and suits one's climate. This will ensure that it is applicable to be used around the world. What's holding you back? Help us create a better world, one step after the other. Thank you.